All right, so this is a spot I've painted from before. It's actually really nice, sheltered from the wind. I think we're gonna get sun for a while here, but I'm gonna work pretty quickly. So I'm thinking of making something with this scene right here. Uh, I might do a square composition. All right, I'm gonna tone the panel with burnt sienna, and I'm just thinning with odorless mineral spirits. And the reason I'm toning is I'd like some of this orange to be popping through, especially on these cliffs here. Um, you know, just having the panel already have some orange on it is going to give me a head start. All right, so there's the basic composition. I'm going to include some of this, uh, this hill here in the foreground. So that'll be right here. And then this rock portion right here is, uh, is right there. And then there's like a few rocks in the distance. And then I may include there. I know there's land out there. I may include that, but then, you know, I don't know. I may just try to work with the sky. Um, and if it turns into something interesting, then I'll work with that. I really do love the shift in the color of the water here from this sort of aqua color to the um, deeper uh, ultramarine type blue in the distance. So I'm gonna kind of work with those colors, push those colors a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna start with my darks using my usual mixture of ultramarine and alizarin crimson. I've mixed in a bit of liquin and odorless mineral spirits to thin it. All right, I'm gonna start with my greens and I'm gonna go with a little bit darker than a mid-tone value gray, which is what my palette is. And so I'm mixing up this green using ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow medium, a little bit of yellow ochre and burnt sienna. I'm just kind of mixing in a bunch of colors. Actually, and I've added um, alizarin crimson as well. I've thinned with odorless mineral spirits and uh, liquin as usual. And I'm just looking for big shapes, squinting, maybe mixing a little bit more red in there. You know, I can fine tune these colors later. All right, the color of the water is changing really quickly, but I'm gonna go with a mixture of titanium white, ultramarine blue, and a touch of burnt sienna to give me sort of a, uh, kind of a dull gray blue and I want to make sure that the value is light enough um, that it's lighter than the hills but that it's also dark enough to make the white water stand out okay so for the blue green I'm going with some cobalt teal uh, cadmium yellow lemon uh, titanium white and a bit of liquid and odorless mineral spirits and I'm gonna kind of leave some areas where I feel like w there will be white water. Obviously, it'll be kind of an orange color for now, but already sort of establishing, you know, where that white water will be around these rocks. Okay, so here is the block in and I'm looking for values. I want to make sure as I mentioned that the cliffs are darker than the water and that the darker portions of the water are darker than the white water. So the lightest lights are the white water. The darkest darks are the rocks uh, where it meets the water. I'm mixing a little bit of blue into the cliff color, uh, the orange, because at the base of the cliffs, I'm noticing there's just, there's some sort of subtle blue tones. 
so I'm mixing in ultramarine So here is where I'm going to stop. Like I said, I went with the overcast view because that's pretty much what, you know, the clouds rolled in or the fog rolled in and that's what I got. Uh, trying to get some nice reflections in this area and, you know, some active brushwork in the water and then also some nice atmosphere to create distance. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. I've got a bunch of other videos on there. You guys know, you probably heard me say it. Uh, last one I posted was uh, how I go about uh, Instagram or my approach to Instagram. So if that sounds interesting, like I said, link below. Other than that, stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video.